Hey guys, LanarMC here, and welcome back to episode 16 of the Minecraft Let's Play Survival Series. So, in this episode, we're going to be carrying on with the mansion and try and get a bit more of that done. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Peace. So, in the last episode, we got this um, skeleton constructed and this uh, pedestal constructed for the tower, which is going to end up being put here on top of this pedestal. And the idea for today's episode is I'm going to try and get as much of this I can done in the time frame I have. So I'll hit you guys with updates ever so often and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so it's been a few days since I last did any work on this because I just came back from somewhere way off in that direction to do the uh, 100 item challenge. I then got lost on the way back and just killed myself. So here I am, I'm back at the world spawn. And I, but before that, and after the last episode of this, I constructed this wing here, which is completely identical. Hang on. There we are. I constructed that, like, wing bit there, which is completely identical to that one, but it does sit a block higher, weirdly. Um, mostly because I couldn't be able to change it, because I'd already built it when I noticed. Shh. And I just carried on... Oh god, I need to add iron bars in them. Oh, I'll do it later. Okay, so by the end of this episode, I want to get that wizard tower done. Well, it's going to be a wizard tower now, I've decided. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to build a second floor that connects to it, or I'm going to have just a bridge going from that tower to that tower. haven't decided that yet, but I just want to quickly show you guys what I have in store, because I kind of want to get all the main features done before I go into anything else. So that pillar there, there's a nice six block high pillar, corresponds to this block here. And basically I'm going to put a dam across here, which is also going to act as a bridge. And have a nice dam here flowing water into this river, which then goes off in that and we'll forget about it. But, as you can see, to have a dam you need to have a nice little reservoir area. And that will bring the water level up to about here or here. Which means if you look over in that direction, It'll end up over, it'll end up spilling out, and ugh. So what I'm going to do to combat this is I'm going to make a short palisade wall. Now the design isn't my design. I kind of borrowed it, if you wanted, from Plastic Scott's palisade wall he has on his Scoutcraft um, server. And just because I think it's perfect for this being a like kind of like a peasant barrier, because up there, me being the noble guy, I don't have to worry about floods because I'm up on a massive hill. But the, the peasants down here, they've, they've got whereabouts, so they've got to build it out of whatever they've got. So, as you can see, it will obviously the water level is going to be about this high. So as soon as it comes here, it's going to flood. So if I carry on down here, you can see it's going to be fairly high. I want to then put a waterfall coming out of there, which is kind of what I'm going to say is the source filling it. And I want to put another dam across here and feeding down to that river there. Well, actually, I probably won't have it feeding there because that means then it's dried up. So I can put like a little dried up, shriveled up civilization over there. So that was pretty good. So the plan for this is, behind me there, I'm going to throw the wizard tower on there. I've just realized I recorded all this without actually hitting the record button, but that's okay. And I will be back once it's done, or with an update. Whichever one comes first. Okay, let's try... No! I was just about to... No, no, you can't do this to me. I was literally just about to... There you are. Come here. Come here. Oh, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's this tall dude? Where are he at? This lanky. There he is. Okay. Come on. I've got you. Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. It's another ender pearl. That is going straight in my basket. Boy, do I love working from heights. I've, I've totally not almost fallen off about seven or eight times yet. I don't know, you might see me fall off, you might not. Will I survive the fall? Possibly. Will I be happy? No. I'm going to have to get back up here again. Ah. Look at that fall. Anyways, so... What I've been doing is slowly building up this tower. So I found a design online, because believe it or not, I've never built a tower before. So I found a design online for one that I really like. 
and the plan is to build that but then modify it to how I want it. So I kind of want to have a balcony on the front of it so you know somewhere else I can start doing my episodes because the plan is to try and move away from like the community area and start moving here to start building what I originally planned to build which is almost like a kingdom. And I will hit you guys when I have another update to tell you uh, about this tower. The thing about projects like this, and if anyone's taken on projects like this in survival before, you know that they're quite resource heavy. For instance, okay, that's that's my that's my that's my trash chest. But this was filled with blocks. This was filled with cobblestone and stone. But as you can see, it's just slowly disappearing. So at some point, I'm gonna have to stop and probably dig another hole. Gotta go and um, you know, grab some uh, potatoes. So, like when you take on, as I said before, when you take on a project like this, it's quite resource heavy, and so I basically run out of wood and everything like that. But it's a good thing I'm planting that spruce forest over there. So, after taking down it once, because I built it wrong, I have finally finished the, basically the outline skeleton of it. Obviously still needs detailing, texturing, and stuff like that, but the, no, okay, I thought that was wrong, but it's not. Basically what I was trying to say is it's done. That's That was the gist of it. So, next episode, obviously at the moment it looks quite big in comparison to everything else. So if I just hop over here. So currently it looks quite thick compared with the front entrance, but there is going to be a second floor added behind that with a peaked roof as well. So that should hopefully tie this in a lot better to the front. And next episode I want to work on that tower there, which will be a nice pointy tower. And one thing I can say, if anyone's planning on taking on like big projects like this, don't see it as one massive project, just see it as little projects. So when I did that, I saw that as one project, the entrance, then these wing bits were one project, then this bit was one project, this tower has been one project, that tower is going to be another project, then the second floor and the roof for that. You guessed it, it's going to be another project. So that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, so don't forget to, you know, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!